and action. I've been asked by Obi-Wan Kenobi to do a very short demo movie using Photoshop 1.0. But first, a musical introduction. <laughs> Okay, enough. Sorry. Sorry, John. I hope I don't get uh, anybody into trouble. So I'm going to launch uh, Photoshop 1.0. And here we are in Photoshop 1.0. Just to prove that this is Photoshop 1.0, it's 1.0.7. And you'll see Thomas Knoll, John Knoll, Steve Gutman, and our own mad doctor, Russell Brown, listed in the original Photoshop 1 splash screen. So I wanted to start off with a demo image that uh, might be the most opened image ever into Photoshop. Jennifer in Paradise. I think John has seen this image once or twice. And wanted to go through and show you the various tools, or at least some of them, very briefly. Uh, the different modes that Photoshop 1 had, the uh, uh, image menu where you could actually select and make tone and color corrections. you notice that there is no curves uh, control, but there is a levels adjustment, which if you look, uh, you have almost the same kind of controls that you have now in Photoshop 3. Oh, yes, except for the fact that Every time you make an adjustment, you actually have to hit the preview button. Kind of primitive by today's standards. That looks good. <clears throat> there are also some filters, which I understand was John Knowles' method of sneaking stuff into the uh, Photoshop application that some of the people at Adobe didn't think there was a need for. One of my favorites is Mosaic which turns everything into big pixels. Uh, let me undo that. Under select, you had the ability to use the alpha channel. And here I'm going to load an alpha channel that I've already made into a selection. And I'm going to use a marquee tool. And John, don't watch this. I'm going to make Jennifer, two Jennifers in paradise. I think I'll make three Jennifers in Paradise. That may be just too much for John to deal with. John uh, <laughs> shot this when Jennifer, I think, was a girlfriend, and now I believe Jennifer uh, is a wife. Uh, various selection tools. We had the tragic wand, and <laughs> it, it's meant to be funny. <laughs> um, lasso or as Martin Evening calls it, the lasso tool. We had various uh, uh, ability to do like a erasing, um, painting, where you could select a color and paint. Oh, I do want to show you the brush palette. This is the brush palette. This is the old original Photoshop 1 brush palette. And the other palette that you could show show palette was the color palette. So you could select a color and paint with it using this brush. Uh, you had custom brushes and these kind of funny, goofy looking other brushes. Um, also had the ability to use a clone tool. And Photoshop's clone tool it's probably one of the most used tools in Photoshop. Now, in this case, uh, if I wanted to undo, I can only do one undo. I don't know if people realized it, but there was only one undo in Photoshop 1. And if you wanted to undo more, you had to resort to what I used to do all the time, was revert to saved. <laughs> Unbelievable how many times I went back and started all over again. But one of the things that I wanted to also show you is that you can take an image from Photoshop 1, select all, 
go up under copy. Now let's take that image, fast forward it all the way into Photoshop 3, CS3, in 2007 and hit paste. And now we've brought Jennifer uh, 17 years into the future. I think Jennifer still looks as good, doesn't she, John? The real demo I wanted to show here was to settle once and for all who Obi-Wan Kenobi really is. Now, in the most recent series of Star Wars movies, Obi-Wan Kenobi was, of course, played by uh, Ewan McGregor, who I thought did a great job. And um, in the Attack of the Clones, in particular, I think the real person behind Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I'm just going to play this little uh, special effects that I did in Photoshop, the real person behind the scenes controlling uh, Obi-Wan was none other than John Knoll. Now, the person that you see in front of you impersonating Obi-Wan Kenobi is actually none other than Russell Brown, uh, the mad doctor from Adobe. Uh, Obi-Wan was originally played by Sir Alex uh, Ginnix, sorry. Obi-Wan was played by Sir Alec Guinness. But I wanted to show you who the real person, the original Jedi Knight, really was. And that really is none other than Thomas Knoll, the original Jedi Knight and creator of Photoshop. So uh, I hope that has given you kind of a glimpse into Photoshop 1. And uh, Obi-Wan, I'm sorry, Russell, uh, I hope this works for you. And I hope you all have a great time in Photoshop World Japan.